Hey guys, Lou Jabro out in Lake Havasu. We're going to go check out a brand new RV garage home listing. Uh, just came on the market today. We're going to go check it out for some clients. Got a 60 foot RV a garage with a 13 foot door. Uh, hang out with us, check it out, and I will talk to you in a minute. <music> All right, guys, we're out here at 1383 Arroyo Drive. This uh, brand new house was just relisted today. Uh, it was under contract when it was first built and fell out of escrow. So we're out here taking a look at it. Uh, lots of new construction on the street. Let's go grab the key and check it out. So there's some new construction going in down the street. Uh, actually, there's about four houses going up on this street. Um, mixed in with some little bit older houses. Uh, it's a nice little setup. It's a nice quiet street. Alright guys, this is a four bedroom, three bath. It was built the end of 2016. Uh, this is 1,979 square feet. And the garage is 60 feet deep with a 13.9 foot door. And there's also a two car garage with an eight foot door with a 32 foot uh, deep bay. So they did a really nice job with the tile work. Uh, it's just a nice open, living area the open kitchen thick granite slab they did the crown molding around the top can lights pre-wired knock down trough uh, wall finish got stainless appliances and upgraded cabinets and the tile black backsplash um, I've seen this this layout before it's a river homes house they build a real nice house so there's a pantry off the kitchen here as well as the uh, indoor laundry is right back here with hookups and then a door out to the garage as well. Okay, so this is the master. You got a slider out to the backyard for a future pool or just to hang out on the patio. It's a nice ba uh, bathroom. This is the master bath. Uh, dual sink, solid surface counters. Nice eight foot doors everywhere in the whole house. Nice walk-in shower with uh, pretty nice unique tile work and a, a rain head as well. It's got a pretty big, decent uh, walk-in closet. All right, so this is bedroom two off of the kitchen and it's kind of a second master suite setup. It's got a decent sized walk-in closet. It's got a nice little bathroom setup, solid surface, counters, same kind of uh, setup as in the other master. Also has a door outside and it's already set up as uh, for pool barrier regulations. You can see the, the handle up high there. So it's already for a pool if you want to put one in at some point. Real nice uh, walk-in shower with a hand tile uh, and stonework, I guess. Pretty nice, pretty unique. Okay, so this is the third bath, and this is the hall bath um, by the front of the of the house. This would be like the guest bath. Real nice. Let's go check out the other two bedrooms. Okay, so this is the hall down to the other two bedrooms, and both of these are closets right here. So here's bedroom number three.
This is bedroom number four, uh, both the same size it looks like. So these bedrooms are about 11 by 12 or so. You'll see everything is pre-wired for sound, security, TV, um, low voltage for whatever you want to do. Everything's got ceiling fans. All right, so this is a monster garage, 60 foot uh, deep on the RV garage side with almost a 14 foot door. Uh, it's also got the eight foot door height and the 32 foot and 22 foot bays. It also has clean outs, 50 amp service, full hookups. Also has a door out to the backyard. So if you wanted to get pool equipment out there, uh, you could do that. Uh, this house is also set up for air conditioning. So you see those two vents right there. It's all pre-wired and ready to go for the, uh, the split unit setup. Those are the Mitsubishi. Uh, they're about 4,000 bucks each. Uh, so you know, under 10 grand, you have air conditioned garage. So you have your hot water heater. Uh, you'll see expansion tank up there as well as your RO hookups and your soft water loop and your irrigation timer and all the uh, home run wires all back into this panel for your irrigation. And there's also the air handler right back in here, heat pump AC unit. Here's another shot of the uh, heat pump AC set up with the air handler. So it's got a real nice uh, big covered patio. The lighting's installed. It's pre-wired for uh, surround sound. It's a 10,000 square foot lot. Plenty of room for a pool. The property line goes all the way back to the pole there. So after you get the backyard set up, it'd be a real nice uh, private backyard for sure. Hey guys, Lou back again with you. Hope you enjoyed that quick little uh, walk through the house over here. Uh, if you have any questions about it, all my contact information is right below this video. Feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text. I'll be more than happy to uh, help answer your questions. Also put a link to the listing right below this video so you can get the current list price, availability, and additional pictures and all that. So anyways, hope you enjoyed it. You guys have a great day and I look forward to talking to you soon. Okay guys, I just wanted to take you down the street uh, just to show you what else is around there. Sorry about the windshield, it's a little rainy out today. So it's actually a really nice little street and neighborhood. I actually just uh, sold the house uh, right over here a few months ago for three fifty. dollars I think. It has a little pool. It's a nice setup. Uh, a lot of new construction on the street. There are some vacant lots, and so there's a bunch of uh, new construction going on around here. It's a pretty decent street for uh, Havasu. I see a lot of tile roofs, a lot of newer construction. Uh, there's a couple little shabby houses here and there, but uh, in this market, they'll get swooped up and somebody will flip them. So these are all new. This is all new construction here. All brand new. Nobody's moved in yet. Here's the house right here. Next to a nice house, tile roof. There's another uh, new house going in right here, mega garage, another vacant lot, so nothing, another new house will go there probably. So all in all, it's a pretty nice uh, little quiet neighborhood, uh, not a lot of traffic on the street because it's not a shortcut anywhere, uh, so that's a good thing, especially if you have kids. So anyways, hope that helps. This is Palo Verde North right here, and this... Uh, goes right down to Windsor launch ramp so if you guys are boaters you can just head right down to Windsor and be good to go so that's always a benefit for a lot of my clients so anyways if you guys have any questions feel free to give me a ring uh, I'm here to help talk to you later